Welcome everybody. Welcome everyone. Sorry, we're troubleshooting a couple things. This is my first time streaming, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do this. Um, preview scene that I wanted to do, but we're just going to get into things. Let me just show you one quick thing. All right, so <clears throat> thank you all for coming. I really appreciate you guys being here. Three people, way more than I thought there was going to be. So, you know, pretty great. What a great start. Thanks for the claps, Nora, in the chat. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, so what we're going to be doing tonight is starting a series against this team, the Westeros Watch. Um, so I've already kind of played one series just, you know, to catch everybody up to speed against the Final Fantasy, like seven inspired team. So this is actually the second series in the, uh, in the league. But the way that these series work is in each one of them, we have a chance of unlocking a certain player. Um, and the way that we choose kind of how we unlock someone is some weird combination of like random number generation stuff. So for the Game of Thrones team that we're going to be playing a couple of games against tonight, I'm going to use a random number, like random card generator to draw like a random playing card. And it's going to determine, you know, based on these different, this breakdown or whatever, it's going to show us what it's going to happen. So I'm just going to do that quick. So I just use this website, this random.org, um, and find it's pretty good. Okay, oh shit. So the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, so the Diamonds is uh, this Lannister kind of spot, and Ace counts as an odd number. So if we lose this upcoming game, we're going to lose a player. So that's not, not great. Okay. So let's get started.
Okay. So I think everybody should be able to see the screen and should be hearing the in-game audio. So let's get started. So yeah, there's some kind of funny little logistics and things that we'll kind of get through, or, you know, start talking through as we go into the game. I think I'm going to turn up the in-game audio a little bit. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. So our starting pitcher is going to be John Boy. Um, you know, Nora, you probably don't know who that is, but this guy that does like breakdowns of different sporting things um and he makes a lot of kind of like interesting funny content um but yeah you should check out like one of his like mlb breakdowns like of just a some kind of random play that happens um in our starting lineup we went through you know who was who it was in the in the draft video um but we're going to start off with gemini man um, he's really, really solid. Um, and then, yeah, I just, we'll, we'll kind of go through the players as, as we go. And then I've kind of tried to um, go into the uh, Westeros team to make sure that we have the right people playing for them, too. Because uh, the game likes to kind of try to... Um, the screen sorry folks around here in high spirits Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been okay on sweet calendars since about midwinter joined by Dan all right Isaac. so and let's get, get it started sorry for the slow start up everybody if this team's gonna have Nora success. thank you for bearing with me just like any team <laughs> pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. All right. The stage is set. The starters okay. get their final tosses so, out in the bullpen, Remember, if we lose this game, good one in store we are going to lose a random player. Play um, so that'll be... Up. Those are the stakes. Number 84 gets the ball for the so their starting pitcher is the Dothraki Watchman. I, I did, here, did put this in the, one of the initial the videos, but I ended up going well, back in and making a bunch of extra characters um, just to make it so that the rosters were like this more. Alright, so the inaugural at bat. Outside. So you kind of get used to the game as we go, but I try to click three pitches pretty quickly to keep it to start active, the year. Still um, so that it's not too boring. An elusive first win. Yeah, uh, Maddie, to expect to go through the but yeah, you'll see. And I play on the second to highest difficulty, game, which makes the pitching pretty fast, but not like You're gonna have not fun. Uh, if you play on the highest, season, I think they keep you, you play on the highest difficulty in the game, just ends up not being let's see if they fight. Not being fun. The one two. Oh, great start. Great start. 
Gemini Man strikes out. Next up, we have Delighta from Final Fantasy Tactics. The antagonist, protagonist of that series. Anybody that played those games knows, you know, Delighta's. Oh my gosh. Delighta's kind of a D double O S H. Okay, ball one. Yeah, Gemini Man definitely got shredded by Needleman. That's a pretty, <laughs> pretty bad opening at bat. But, you know, gotta start somewhere, right? Alright, Delida evens up the count at 2-2. Two and two. I like to show the pitches a lot just to kind of get a sense of what I think is going to happen. <laughs> Clearly did not guess right there. Okay. Here's our boy. It's zero. Yeah, he, he kind of sucked in the uh, in the opening series, but we did win three games. So that's a ball. Slider laid off for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's a strike. And a strike to even Taking a little bit just to kind of get get a lay of the land. I like to get, you know, two and one counts, two and two counts are usually the best. Yeah, so two and one. Chances are higher that he's going to throw probably a four-seam fastball posted out in the middle and see if we can play. Ooh, and it's early. Fouled away. But that was good contact. So you see in the, yeah, they call it a foul tip. You can see in the bottom left um, how good the contact was. Inside, all right. Just about gets away from so zero is good on base too. Um, so zero walks. He's a right he's a dangerous you have to player. Realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of That's what they said. That is going to be at least a double. All right. Yeah. Oh, I'm going three. I'm going three. And he's not stopping. He wants oh, three. Yeah. And he zero. Will make it all the way to third now. Is that mistake? With the triple. A costly one indeed. So and that's Jamie that Lannister in center field. field kind of choked a little bit. All right, here's Hagrid, our cleanup. Oh, he's going for the quick, right quick one-two punch. Didn't quite get it. All right, come on, Hagrid. He's set. The O one. That right is going to drop. Right yes. Okay. Scoring in the first. And I am going to go. I'm going to go at least three. Let's see if they kind of choke it on the. All right. I'm going to go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Slide. Yes. Okay. Pretty sweet. Back to back triple. So this. Um, this is the. Just to introduce you to the stadium. So this is the Westeros Watches Stadium. Um, I kind of have this giant right field, center field wall that's supposed to be like the wall. <laughs> uh, but it's a really, really deep stadium, so there's a good amount of extra base hits, like doubles and triples here. But this is a pretty hot start, so making me feel comfortable that you know maybe we're going to keep our players. Yeah, Hagar the Horrible. RBI trip. Here's the 1-0. Oh. That ooh, hot shot. Down at first as he Go right at him. Into end the inning. Garrow so Mask is pretty, on two pretty sweet. Hits, one All right, error so there you go. And a runner left. That's how an inning works. Nora, um, I one. think you seem like you're the Rangers most active one in the chat. Here, one Let me know nothing. if you think the like mic audio versus gameplay audio is good or if i should go kind of up or down on one whatever you think all right so john boy so pitching again i try to go pretty quick um, you know there's no conditions for this game so i'm not going to try to do anything kind of silly you know there's some games where it's like if you walk five times you get something or whatever and in those games i end up being a more patient hitter but really the name of the game for for this for this game is to uh is it just win? All right, yeah. Let me let me bump my mic audio a little bit. And sorry, I I'm gonna learn this OBS better. 
um, how to do the next time. So what I'll do is I'll actually, I think the mic is pretty much maxed out, but I can cut the desktop audio a little bit. And then if you turn up your audio on your own, um, on your own computer with the lower desktop audio, then the mic will sound a little higher. And I'll try to talk a little louder. <laughs> okay. All right. For a strike with the fastball. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Leanna Mormon is up second. And it's one so, if you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, see. you've got to get that pitch right there. Um, I forget. I forget, Nora, if you have. <laughs> if you know the fate of all these different characters, so I will try not to. Oh, that was a strike. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, the game isn't perfect. Um, but Nora, I forget if you know the fate of all these Game of Thrones characters. So I'll, I'll try not to reveal reveal too much in case you don't. Oh, shit. So this was Sander Clegane. Oh, the hound. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I might get them at three. I might get her at three. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so the Hounds, pretty much any other stadium that is out. So if you look down the line, this stadium is 405 down the line. So he hit that, he hit that easily 420. Uh, and that's a three-run shot. <laughs> so I promised you drama. And... We're delivering it already. So Jamie Lannister, after choking it a little bit, choking it a little bit in center field, letting Zero get that RBI triple, answers with a three-run shot over the wall. Let's take a peek at this real quick. Oh, man. There it goes. Into oh, you know, right into the Night King's house or whatever. Into the box now. Okay, Arya Stark is another I devastating hitter. Right I think I'm gonna get there. I think I'm gonna get there. Go 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 go. Yes. All right, Delita is now. quick. Most of our outfielders are pretty quick. You know, three runs, three runs in this inning would be terrible. I mean, it's again, it's not, it's not great. But um, nice, right to Iron Man, shoots it across the diamond, and we're out. Okay. So could have been worse, could have been worse. Um, but that is a that's a big end. Okay, leading off. <laughs> no fielding. Our boy, the mighty Boosh, old Gray. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning start. Oh, late, late swing. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Little hesitation right there by the batter. This great execution by the pitcher uh, down and away. Well hit. That looked like a late swing. Uh, He's sitting on something else. And he will but he gets there. Down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Standing in. Okay. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Or all gray. Yeah, I know. I know. It is what it is. All right, here comes Iron Man. Oh, that's strike two. Oh, boy. Okay. Two strikes, one out. It's probably going to be a ball. Yep. Inside. Ooh, close. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing. Still thinking ball, but. Yep, a little bit low. All right, so now we've evened up the count. Increasing the odds of a strike. Let's see what we get. Oh! Oh! Thought that was a hold up, but they call it strike three. All right, so two outs. Here's Moana. Moana's really good against lefties. She's all right against righties. Ooh! So, 
And I'll tell you, this is the last yeah. time the lineup wow. going to put on base wow. for free. All right, we might have to retaliate. After getting drilled and he's got speed to we burn, might have so to retaliate. For him to try um, to make something happen let me there. see some action in the in the chat. Settling do you think now, should we should we hit someone back on their team here. or do we try to play this out like 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 gentlemen and gentlemen? From the stretch. Broke out the slide step there, Danny. I don't know. Yeah, Hitting Moana is pretty about the steal right here. Pretty low. Happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. And that's too high. Ball two. That's a great call right there. Fast so just asking one more. Rise, a, rise above. Yeah. Almost like okay. All right. Yeah. I usually don't retaliate, but I got a soft spot for Moana. Prince says Leia, base hit up the middle. I'm going to stay too. Continue as that's through for a two out hit. Yeah, I might have made it at third. Um, that throw wasn't accurate, but that would have been that would have been a close play. Okay, Gemini man, coming back up, trying for some redemption. Ooh, close pitch, high and tight, close pitch. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Oh God. this is one of those ABs you like. Gemini man is. Put himself in a tough spot now. He's a little gassy right strikes. now. Ooh. That was late. That was almost strike three. All right, Gemini man, here we go, buddy. Here we go. That's high. All right. Chances are this next one's probably going to be a ball. Probably going to be a ball. Yep, okay. All right. This is the crucial pitch. This is this the is most important pitch, pitch right this here. inning. I don't think he wants to important pitch in this game. And have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be Go. aggressive with what he thinks is Gave it a ride. Ah, oh, warning track power. And he will make the catch just Warning track, track power. The inning is over. It's okay. All right, coming up, we got Hodor, Ghost, uh the Direwolf and Brienne of Tarth. All right, let's let's hold him scoreless this inning. Digging in, number 80 comes in after a day of rest. Oh, no, fielding with the dive, the flip, and they got him. What a play. What a play. Sorry, Hodor. All right. Here comes Ghost. That is a deep drive. That's going to drop. That's at least a double. Maybe ground rule double. Yep. Okay. That's actually probably lucky that it went double oh my gosh they're they're knocking me around all right so this game of thrones team is, is in case you haven't noticed they are very good at hitting um their pitching is not that god that's another run um their pitching is not that great um but they're pretty good offensively so we might be we might be losing someone tonight. Um, I didn't really explain this completely in the in the little intro to this video, but um, let me just get this one pitch in. Strike three. Get out of the inning. Okay. <laughs> I didn't explain this at the beginning of this video, but in each in any given series, we can only like gain. We can only gain one player, but we can lose multiple ones. Um, so if we lose this game, we're going to lose someone. Um, but if we get a condition where we can pick up a player, we're only allowed to pick up one. Um, so if we pick up, you know, have the chance to pick up two, we have to choose which one we get, if that makes sense. Thanks everybody for being here. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Feel free to to say to you know say what's up in the chat. One of the benefits of having you know three people watching is I can talk to all of you if you if you so choose. And sorry, I keep looking to the to the left. I should be looking here to say I can talk to all of you. But that's where I have the, the chat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those oh, are the pitches look at the ball. <laughs> okay, so we need to we need to turn things around here. We need to turn things around. 
Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Okay, 0-2. 0-2 oh to 0. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. That's a ball. Okay. All right, we need to crawl back. Let's even up this count and crawl back. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. So again, zero, if zero gets on base in this kind of situation, I might I might try to steal second. Low, okay, yeah, especially if zero walks here, we'll probably let them give them a pitch and then, and then we're gonna try to steal second. Yep, okay, all right. And he takes ball four, so he's on, and as you know, that often... So I'm probably going to dance a little bit on first base, make him think, maybe make him throw, yeah, make him throw over here, and then hopefully throw um, a couple of, like, intentional, like, what's called a pitch out in baseball, like, throw it. Uh, a pitch out is when they, like, the catcher jumps up and they throw it to him to, because they think someone's going to try to steal, so I'm... I'm making them really think about him on first, and he's fast and has good uh, base stealing stats. So the high, it's a pretty high probability that the next pitch or two is going to be a pitch out. Nope, that's a strike. But if you can get um, a couple pitch outs, you can go up in the count, right? You can have a, you know, two and zero, oh or that's a ball. Yeah, so I'm going to dance a little bit more here. See if I can get him to do. A pitch out to make the count two and one. <laughs> yeah, to, to try to make the count two and one. Hopefully they'll do a pitch out here. Let's see. Nope. Ah, okay. All right, so this is a little bit risky, but I'm going to go for it here. Yep, go, go, go. That's going to drop. Yes. Okay. And we sent the runner, so he's going to score. All right. So Hagrid, Hagrid is two for two with a triple and a double. So I have an unwritten rule whenever I play any of these leagues. This is like my third, fourth time playing one of these kind of totally custom leagues. I have an unwritten rule that if someone hits for a cycle, we can unlock a player. So, a cycle is, that's going to score, Ooh. yeah, I'm sending him, he's going, he's going, oh shit, they're going to throw him out at second. Ah, oh, but we scored the run, I thought they were going to try to throw him home, but still, RBI, getting closer. Uh, it's going to be a fly out. Uh, but what I was starting to say is, yeah, if I hit for a cycle, which is one player in a game gets a single, double, triple home run. Uh, if I can hit for a cycle, then I can unlock a player. So Hagrid would need a home run and a single. Triple is triple and double are the two hardest to get, though. So that's possible. All right, so Sander Clegane, I made a mistake and tried to quick pitch a fastball in the last at bat. So I'm going to be a little bit more picky here and you know he is not great to put on base either he's pretty fast but uh, okay so three and one i should be able to throw a low fastball and sneak it by and get away with it Ooh. missed my location but still worked okay low fastball uh, okay all right so he's not great to walk but it's better than hitting a home run so you see you can see his stats up there um, you can see the little eye, like him in the left corner, um, his speed and his stealing. I'm actually going to do a pitch out here and see if I can catch him. Not like that. All right, let me uh, throw one more strike. Okay, so now it's 0-2, so I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a pitch out here and try to throw him out at second. He's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy a chance to run. So he didn't go. But I was thinking he might. All right, we're going to try to strike him out with a curveball. Oh, double play pitch. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, Moana. She is Moana with the flourish at second base. Nice double play. Okay, Noel fielding. Ooh, he might have enough time. 
Yes. Okay, man, Noel. Noel, early competition for Golden Gloves. He's diving all over the place. Getting it done. Okay. Here we go, Iron Man. Keeping the game close. It's a one-run game. Iron Man is a good home run hitter against righties. So let's see what he can do. Inside. All right. Up in the count. Increases our odds of something down the pipe. That's going to be tough. I think he's there. He's there. Take. Ooh. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, Moana, hit by a pitch. Tears still in her eyes. Comes to the plate. I'm going to go for a drag button here. I want a base runner. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Uh, bunting is pretty kind of overpowered in this game, especially the drag bunts. I, there are certain players I can get hits with like almost every time with a drag bunt. Um, if you have two strikes and you bunt and it's foul, um, for those of you that don't know baseball rules, though, it's an automatic out. That's a ball. Ooh, low. Um, that's a ball. Or, um, it's an automatic out if you bunt with two strikes and it's foul. So... Ah, okay. Start as a play. And that's the so, second. Yeah, that's Aria is short. The hound at third and Aria is short. Digging in to try and oh, Okay, play. Princess Leia, he come on. A single in his first try. Come on, girl. That's a strike. Oh, okay. That's a ball. Right away. Oh, who could bunt and hit home runs? Oh. Adrian. Adrian something, I think. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that. Bunt. Any of you that played a triple play two thousand, maybe would get that. But it's Adrian, Adrian something. I think was that was that player. Another one two delivery. Ooh. Okay, Princess Leia, come on, girl. Come on, girl. That's a ball. Back to back sliders in on Dances the out of the way. Um, also in triple play, do you remember Eric T. Kiss? <laughs> controversial, controversial player in that game. Okay, Princess Leia. Princess Leia, you know, she probably should be quicker and a base dealer, but she's not actually that fast, so. That's, oh. Adriana, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe I'll try to move my little other computer up here. Sorry. So I can see the chat better. Let me try to move that there. So I'm not looking in a crazy angle as much. Okay. All right. We need to shut down any. Let's just overpower him. Call Drogo. Okay. All right, so now that we're up in the count, I've thrown two fastballs. So what I usually do is I'm going to go low and away with a curve, get them a little bit over the top, and he got him. or just freeze up. Okay. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. So Hodor, if we remember, grounded out. So, yeah, the second. Ooh, 101 mile an hour fastball. Yeah, this has been. I mean, it's been an okay start. I feel like for John Boy. You know, he had. Jamie Lannister hit that, you know, revenge home run. All right, so 0 and 2. I've just threw a curveball. I'm going to go way high and up, up and in for a fastball. Hopefully, he does So he didn't chase, but I'm going to see if he chases and do it one more time. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can strike out the side. I'm going to try to sneak a quick fastball. In for a strike. Let's put a cutter down and in. 
All right, a little too far inside. We're going to do another cutter, kind of a little more up and in. All right, that's okay. That'll get us out of the inning. Okay, so this is the inning, okay? This is the one. We're back to the top of the order. Gemini Man, Delida, and Zero coming up. Digging in the switch hitter, number 22. And Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so All right, far. come on, Gemini Man. Let's start it off. Let's get a rally going. Ah, uh, good contact or right at him. Ugh. Okay. We'll see if it happens. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. All right, Delida. Let's go, bud. Let's just hit a home run. Tie it up. Let's hit a home run and tie it up. Or walk, or get a single, and then zero can drive us in. Ball. All right, 2-0. Oh, damn it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Okay. So Zero has scored twice, yeah, and has a double. He's having a good game. He's, he's, he's opening up a little bit more in this series than, than he did in the last one against the Midgers Meteors team. Its way. That's just high. The now as he looks at a bowl. And remember, Hagrid's got that double and the triple. Hagrid's up next. Us, so, I gotta believe this guy's uh, looking to do exactly that. That is out. When the when the players do that little bit of like a swagger move, um, you can tell in the animation that it's gone. Um, so I could I could feel that. So yeah, that's Zero's first home run. Hopefully, first of many. He didn't get any of that first series, but this was a bomb. This was what like I bet this was 380. Let's see if they give us an estimate. He'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Usually they give you, if they trace it, they give you an estimate. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah. That looked like about 380, given where where it was. Okay, so here we go, Hagrid. Let's see if we can get a single or a homer. Standing in now, number 60. Oh. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Nope. There's a ah. high pop-up. Stark is in his tracks now, and he will put it away to retire the side. All right. Hagrid with the pop out. So it's zero with the, the home run to tie it up. So we got a tie ball game on our hands. All right, low fastball for the strike. All right, so... This is an important inning. Um, we need to kind of get out of here, keep our momentum. The interesting thing about this game, though, is the pitch count. So John Boy has only thrown 42 pitches, and we're, you know, an out into the fifth inning. That's pretty efficient. So even though we've let up a lot of runs, um, we've been pretty efficient. And I don't feel like it's been all around that bad. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with this start. It hasn't been the outcome that we'd want, um, giving up four runs, but he's pitching well. There we go. Got him to chase the changeup. Sorry, Tyrion. Liana. Ooh, that's going to be a double at least. Oh, shit. Okay. Go, 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 go. Bad throw. Yeah, she could have made it three. She could have made it three. Okay, so this is a crucial at bat. We've got to get him out. We've got to get out of this inning without trouble. All right. Low heat. Stuck it by him. I'm going to go up and in. Hopefully, get another fastball for a strike. Oh. Sometimes this game, that was that was a strike. All right, I'm gonna go low and away curve. I gotta I gotta nibble a little bit. 
Yeah, I know. I want him in the monastery, or or I want him on my team. He's, he's someone I want real bad. Oh. Walking him though is 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 okay. All right, Jamie Lannister, shit, our three-run home run champ. All right. Now this is a situation where we can't walk him though. Ah, oh, yes. Hot shot to Iron Man. We get out of the inning with a couple runners on. Okay, so I'm hoping that they keep their starter in because Garrow is not very good against lefties, and I think if they're going to switch someone out, they might do it now. Yep. Uh, so let's take a quick peek at our sub. So I'll show you quickly, too, how, like, stats work, right? So if you look at Garrow here, his contact against lefties is 62 and his power is 65, whereas versus righties, he's 94 and 90. Um, but he's, you know, and if you look at his other stats, reaction, arm strength, and fielding are the main, like, defensive ones. So, you know, he's not that great defensively um, and not that good against lefties. So I'm thinking I might sub him out. Um but, you know, Langtree, Langtree's a little bit maybe better of a fielder. She has better arm strength. Um, I'm going to leave him in. I'm going to leave him in. I'm actually going to go for the drag bunt here. Because he's quick. I'm going to give him two chances to bunt on. Let's see how it goes. That is going to be a base hit. That's going to be a base hit. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how, if you can get those drag bunts to go to the second baseman, they are pretty reliable hits. Um, and that's a kind of good way around someone who's not a very good, you know, contact hitter against a particular pitching matchup. That was a pitch out right there. So, yeah, if we can get them to do another pitch out going up 2-0 in a count um, with someone like Noel. Noel's actually a good, uh, a really good home run hitter. Here comes the 1-0. Ah, stuck it in. strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Thank you so much, Nora, for being for being here and being active in the in the chat. I really I really appreciate it. This is this is a weird experience, but it's fun. Ready to deliver the one and two, and it's fouled away. All right, foul ball and a high fastball. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't go. Didn't go. Okay. That's going to drop. That's going to drop. Yes. Okay. Two on. No outs. Yeah, don't. Don't worry about it. Go whenever you need to. It just, you know, again, it's been, it's been great. But go whenever you need to. All right, so we got two. Ooh, so Iron Man is not good against lefties. He's even worse than, um, yeah. So, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. So Patrick Starr is okay. He's more backup backup. But Ness is actually pretty good against lefties. And he can play third base. So I'm going to bring Ness in. He's got 72-72 for contacted power against lefties. You don't know. They can do so. They have so many options at their. All right. So here comes Ness. Pitch hitting. Two two on. No outs. Oh, that was a good pitch. That was a good pitch to hit. Ah, oh, disappointing. Disappointing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah, oh, infield fly. Oh. Choke city. So that's the equivalent of, you know, you're you're off the bottom of the stage, you PK thunder, and you hit yourself in the top in the top of the head, and you just go straight down. Okay, but Moana is good against lefties. She has a lot of power um, against. Yeah, she's. This is a good good matchup here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ooh, it's a good pitch. Oh, it's a good pitch. All right. Oh, just foul. Just foul. Okay. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Oh two. Oof. 
Yeah, they're just going right at Milan. So you look there, you know, two real strikes, and that other one was was pretty close. So they're not really pick, you know, picking much. That's a ball. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I normally would think another ball's coming, but they've been throwing kind of right at her. From the belt, the pitch. That's high. Okay. All right, two and two. Two and two, crucial pitch here. Let's get a double in the gap. Right up the middle. All right, we're sending him. Just, just home though. Oh, he's going three. Okay, I didn't think he was gonna go. Moana, our girl. All right, guys, we climbed back. Climbed back from Jamie Lannister's revenge home run to take the lead. And Princess Leia is up. She's, I think she's all right against lefties. I forget. Let's see if we can see her stats. Yeah, it's okay. I think she's all right against lefties. Stepping in now. Oh, bad swing, bad swing. Yeah, 80 contact. 80 contact against the lefty is pretty good. So interesting, interesting decision here. There's one out, so the double and the double play is in effect. But if I steal, I could take away the double play. Um, but if I get thrown out, you know, it's a bit of a gamble. Good pitch there, a little out in front. So chances are they're going to throw a ball here, but I don't know. Gemini Man is up next. I don't want to have a strike him out, throw him out situation and not give him a chance. Yeah, oof. Uh, not give him a chance. So we're going to, we're going to leave, we're going to leave it up to Princess Leia here, see if she can get a base hit. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch Thanks again, everybody, for being here. I thought there was potentially going to be zero people watching this, so I'm happy there's, you know, there's a couple. It's great. <laughs> okay. One and two. Not going to see too many of those today. That's a ball. Oof. Close. Barely. Just outside. All right. Two and two. This has been a good. This has been a good kind of fighting at bat. This is the pitch. Oh. Ooh. So that actually was a pretty smart pitch by the computer in that situation. I thought that was going to be an inside ball, but it was a slurve or whatever, so it broke right back across the middle. Um, all right, Gemini man, here you go. Here's your chance. O for three. O for three. I almost swung at that. 0 for 3 on the day for Gemini Man, but let's let's give him a chance for some redemption. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, man, come on. We need, we need some of these insurance runs. It's really bad to have these kinds of setups with multiple runners on and not capitalize. Um, so we gotta we gotta try here. That's a ball. Okay. On deck would be it's not zero. I don't remember who's on deck. I think it's Delida, and Delida actually against lefties is really, really good. So if we walk, that's okay too. But I want to hit here. Oh. That was a good pitch. That was a good pitch. Located fastball. Low and away. All right. Got to protect here. Oh. <laughs> Barely got a foul ball. Barely got a foul ball. All right. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Yes. All right. That's two runs. That's two runs. I'm going to go all the way to three with Gemini Man. I'm going to get greedy. He's fast. He's in. Oof. Seven to four. All right, guys. It looks like we're in good position to defend our team. All right. Northern Watchman coming in as another reliever. Outside. 
and that's where they stand right now after that three bagger. So if we win this game, we're gonna start this season off four and zero. Um, hopefully, yeah, the Gemini Man Gold Dance. Yeah, the hype is the hype is real. Ooh, delighted! Go 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 go! Ah, um, yeah, the hype is real. That was a clutch. That was a clutch hit. And there's been what like that's a third triple this game. This is I I promise drama, and we're we're getting some drama here. Okay, Arya Stark is up. So if you look, his energy is like the how much he's got left in the tank. He's still doing well. He's only thrown 55 pitches through five innings. So although they've scored four runs, I'm I'm leaving him in. He might he might go a complete game if he keeps if he keeps throwing um, the same way he's been. That's a great pitch. We might be able to get a complete game out of this. What's that? Four strikeouts? Five strikeouts? My kind of litmus in this game for a good number of strikeouts is like seven. I feel like if a if a pitcher can get seven in the game, it was a pretty good game from a strikeout standpoint. Um, the last series, which there'll be hopefully a little highlight video of um, coming up soon-ish. Um, but the last series, Zeno Zoldic had a, really, a pretty great start. I think he had 10 Ks in his debut start. All right, so three and two. I'm going to go with his lights out, low and away curveball. Oh, no. How many of those plays? Oh, he's safe. He's safe. <laughs> Noel is laying out left, right, and center. Okay. So I'm going to try to throw one low fastball here. Uh, that's what I wanted, but just not in the right spot. Ooh, they're going three. Did I get him? I got him. <laughs> so that was Delighta. Yeah, Delighta's got a pretty solid arm. That was a good play. I'm going to let this play out. That's a great assist. That was close, too. Ooh, just got him. <laughs> All right, they're sending him. Hagrid got him out. Oh, got him on his head. <laughs> yeah, you don't run on Hagrid. Look how big that glove was. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Hagrid to zero. Back of the skull. Do it up. All right, buddy. Two for two. Zero having a good game. That's going to drop. Drop, drop. Okay, good. What does zero have? I think zero has a double and a single, right? Oh, no, zero has a home run. Double and a home run. And again, top of the seventh, so he's going to have another chance. Yeah, okay. So if he gets a triple in his next at bat he should have one more at bat because it's just the top of the seven and i'm gonna get at least a couple hits so he should have one more at bat and if he gets a triple ooh, good pitch if he gets a triple we could get that cycle all right rubius haggard that's a pitch out okay haggard again he popped out uh, his last at bat but he's got that double and the triple on the line Double on the triple for Hagrid. That's another ball. All right, I might. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send zero. Nice. Well, <laughs> that was a bad jump. Ah, uh, yeah. Bad jump. Limp, limp, limp. Oh, okay. So, Darrow's still in the game. Right-handed pitcher. Let's send a 450 home run over the wall. Ooh. So, the kind of, one of the little mechanics that I built into all this is that in general, um, in general, like, bad guys or kind of dark characters are better against right-handed pitching. And, like, good guys are, against, are better against left-handed pitching. Um, so when in doubt, if you kind of think of a character, um, if they're kind of net good, 
um, chances are they're probably better against lefties. Whereas if they're net like more evil, they're probably better against righties. Some pe some people though, are just good against everyone. Um, but in general, when there's someone who's like only good against one thing, that's how it works. All right, no fielding. Ah, uh, good contact right at him. Okay. So we're heading to the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, we have a three-run lead. His stamina is still good. I'm not putting anyone in the bullpen yet. Um, one more hit, and I probably will, though. So if I get one more guy on, one more any kind of hit, I'm probably going to get the bullpen up. All right, I'm a little worried about a steal. Steel is likely. I'm going to throw low fastballs here um, for two reasons. One, in case they try to steal, and two, anything low in the zone is better for double plays. But now they have two strikes and I've thrown them only fastballs, I'm going to throw them a curve, get a strikeout. Ooh, I was close. We're going to go change up, same kind of deal, off-speed pitch. All right, so now they didn't chase for either of those. I'm going to go back to some a low fastball, hopefully for strike three or a ground out. So this is turning into an at-bat. Okay, oof. Kind of got away with it there. You know, if that had been a gapper, we would have been in trouble, but got away with it. All right, so like I said, if we get one, if they get one more base runner, I'm going to get somebody up in the bullpen. Otherwise, I'm just going to get him through this inning, and then he's dealing. All right. So they got rid of the, the double play. That was a perfect double play hit. Um, but at least we got the out. Okay. So even if they score that run, not the end of the world. Home run here would, would suck, but just, you know, a single or something, not the end of the world. All right, I'm going to go high heat. Kick Leanna Mormont in the teeth. Ooh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I feel like he's... He died, he's dived, like, seven times in this game. Okay, Ness. All right, so Ness, not as good against right-handed pitching. I'm just going to try to do a, a drag button here. Guys have to earn ah, he's actually okay magic. against righties. We'll 70 contact. Right, I'm going to give him a chance to hit. I thought he was like a... Ready with the 0 I thought he was like a, you know, 40% or something. That's right-handed pitching, but 70 is not bad. So let's see if we can get Ness a single. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. All right. Yeah, you, yeah, he is kind of, he is kind of semi-evil, you know? He's got those dead eyes. Oh, that's going to drop. That's a base hit. Nice. All right. We got him. We got him the single. He's pumped. He is, he's a happy boy. Okay. Here we go, Moana. <laughs> yeah, very, very dead eyes. <laughs> Oh, so sometimes they tell me I check swing, and I, sw I swung at that pitch. I don't know why they didn't let me swing at it. That's a pitch out. So I'm trying to think. Ness is on first. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't really have any good pinch runners right now on the roster. All my speedy characters are, are kind of starters. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, inside. Have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike. So that was a slider. It, it was starting to come back, but it had started off way too inside. So I got to kind of cheat. Didn't have to swing at it. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. All right, so three and two. Sometimes I will just send the runner uh, because chances are I'm going to walk or get a hit. I'm probably not going to strike out. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, and I haven't put anybody in the bullpen. So let me get some people in the bullpen. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's let's let the chat help a little bit. Who do we want? I'm thinking. So we're up by three runs. I don't want to really use Captain Falcon. I'm thinking Sheik. I'm thinking Sheik, but I could go Daniel Larusso, if if people want the. I got kicked in the neck, Karate Kid player. He's he's very bad. He's very bad. 
But let's at least warm up Sheik. I'll warm up LaRusso and give you guys a chance to pick who you want. Go Sheik, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was From thinking, too. Stretch, here's the pitch. Lay stands in as he checks his swing here for strike Yeah, Sheik, Sheik, is, Sheik is all right. Sheik is not, not great, but Daniel LaRusso is like a liability. And it's quickly 0-2. That being said, I gave LSP a lot of trash um, in my all my intro videos, and LSP had a really good start uh, game three against the Meteors. Oh, nice. Oh, God. So I guess this is how it works. I don't know how we... Uh, I don't know what we do about this. You know, I know this is like a thing that happens in streams, right? There's like bots or whatever. So guys, I, I don't know what um, 69mega.com is. That's strike. Strike three. Okay. All right, so I think we're going to have to let John Boy... I bet the bullpen isn't ready yet. Yeah, so they're not quite ready. We're going to have to let John Boy get through clicking. And I might honestly let him pitch until somebody gets on base. Yeah, so if he just strikes out the side, you know, I might let him give him a chance. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And now pitch on the way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Tough curve ball okay. that time, but he's able to make a little contact. Let's go low and away curve. Going. Curtains for Clegane. Oh, Get all right. On the ground to third. Ness shoots it across the diamond. One out. Okay. So anybody else gets on base, we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull John Boy. Striding into the box, number 44. And again, you know, when you look at all things considered in these kinds, in this kind of a game, oh, that was a good dive. That was an input. Sometimes characters dive automatically, or players dive automatically, but that that was an input. So I feel I feel good about that one. Thanks, announcer. All right. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. A little outside. This is and that's going to do it. Okay. Left center. All right. So we are going to come Number up six. in the top of the ninth the catch, with a three run lead. Um, three run lead is a real close situation. So I am going to sit LaRusso. And so coming up, they're going to have. Drogo, Hodor, and Ghost, and just looking at those numbers, I like a lefty better. So I'm going to have Nymeria appropriately be the closer for this game if it stays a three-run game. If we if we pick up a couple more runs, I'll probably put Sheik in. It's good contact, but pop out. All right. So yeah, if it stays a three-run game, um, that's a real save situation. So I will put in Nymeria. But if we pick up a couple here, or even even one, even if we get a four-run lead. Um, first pitch to him. Oh, Delia. 0 for 5, I think, right? <laughs> okay, zero. So, zero is a home run, a double, and a single. So if we shoot one in the gap, I'm going three. Pitch coming here it is. Oh, <laughs> that was crushed. Delight of the chemist. Okay, Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters so we go to the bottom of the ninth. It's a three-run game. Nymeria is ready. She's going to come in and close it out. Number 11 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch. Six four, hundred eighty-seven pounds. Here we go. Here comes the first pitch. 
So Nymeria is pretty good. Nymeria doesn't have like blistering heat. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get uh, All right, cutter high and tight, strike three. One down. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go high and tight again. I'm just gonna go normal fastball. Ooh, that was way too high. Okay. So for junk, she's just got a fork ball, which is kind of low. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I'm i a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous here. And now, number 80. And he takes ball one. He's working on There's something about having Hodor up in this situation that, off. that makes me very Good uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, okay, that might get him to center. third, but again, I don't really care about one run here. I just don't want... It's going to be kind of close. I don't really care about that runner on third, right? I don't really care about so coming to anyone plate, who's up. Like, even if he hits a two-run shot, we'll I don't care. I just, I don't want to let him get on base, right? Because I don't want the go-ahead run to come to the plate. Okay. All right, two and one. Let's go running fastball low and away. Oh, shit. All right, all right. It's okay. Oh, my God. Guys, <laughs> guys. So, the kind of nerve-wracking thing about these kinds of situations, and I'm glad you're getting to experience this now in real time, as I've experienced this many times, right, is like, it can kind of happen fast, right? And we're going to lose someone if we lose this game. Okay. Two outs, two outs. All right, Nymeria. Let's go, Tyrion Lannister. The lineup, stepping in, number forty-three, and he needs to make something right. happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Yeah. So hopefully you're kind of feeling some of the the tension that I am. Ooh. Guess that's why I became a clown, because I love the tension. High and tight cutter. Oh, that's gonna do it. All right. And this should do it. There we go, guys. There we go. That's a game. That's a game in the books. All right, so just for the purposes of time, we won't look at the box score or anything. But, yeah, John Boy, eight innings, uh, four earned runs, not bad. And Zero had a great a great game. Didn't have a very good game, series of games against the uh, Midgrim Meteor. So I'm just going to really quickly do one thing here. And if you remember, I'm going to bring up this image again. All right, I'm bringing up this image again. Yeah, Ragtag Rangers. Heck yeah, four and out. So I'm bringing up this image again just to show you, to remind you of like the cards. Uh, I'm going to go back to that website and draw one. Okay, so you should be able to see the random number card thing coming up. Right there, all right. And we got the seven of clubs. All right, so seven of clubs... Seven of clubs is, oh my gosh, right? Yeah, so the seven of clubs, it's if you get seven jack or king for clubs. Um, so I did the seven, like the light of the seven, like the gods or whatever, I don't know. Um, and then jack and king were supposed to be just like, Jon Snow, I think, was who I was thinking was the king, and I think Arya was the jack, maybe? So, I get to pick a player. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a gambit. I get to pick a player, and if I win the game, I get that player. But if I lose the game, I lose my best player in that position. Um, all right. So if that makes sense, so I'm going to pick a player on their team. And if I 
win the game, I get him. And if I lose the game, I lose the player in that position. So I am really tempted. I'm really tempted to go for Clegane. Um, and again, I'll try to start this game up quick, but I'm tempted to go for Clegane. So if you look at my, sorry, if you look at my third baseman, it's Iron Man. So am I willing to lose Iron Man for the chance of getting Clegane? Um, if I lose Iron Man, I still have Ness and Patrick Starr. Like third base will become a weak position, um, but I still think that's worth it. So like shortstop wouldn't be worth it. Like going for Aria, if I lose zero, that would be devastating. I don't really think anybody else on their team I have that much love for, A, and B, um, could are willing to sacrifice the third baseman. So seven of clubs, we are going to play for Sandra Clegane. Oh no. So this is a good little opportunity to show you, you know, we are going to get updates on all these other teams kind of throughout as we go. So it looks like Armored Armadillo just bruised his shoulder. Um, but it's just a couple days, so I'm going to keep him active. All right. So we are just advancing the day to get to our game. And here we go. Game two. It's going to be Charizard. Their pitcher, that's currently not, um, their, yeah, their fifth string pitcher is this free book Watchman, so it might be a good game. The Bombers totaled 13 hits at <laughs> Spark Blast, yeah. Blew his shells off. Okay, so as a reminder, we are playing as the away team. We are playing for Sander Clegane. So if we win this game, yeah, Clegane, which is like... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in our best lineup here because um, I want to win this game. So DH is the only question I have. Right-handed pitcher, Leia is pretty bad. You know what? Yeah, we're we're gonna put her in our wild card, Miss Langtree, and and Langtree, Langtree doesn't like batting under under seventh, so she's gonna even even though Iron Man is really good against right is. Blank tree does better when you give her a little bit, a little bit of you know, of cred where credits due. I'm still impressed. There's there's somehow three people watching. So, you know, Nora, I I love you, and I know you're one of them. And <laughs> one of them is probably a bot, <laughs> and one of them is maybe somebody that works for YouTube that. MLB, the show's coverage is about to take the stream down. Um, okay. So here we go, guys. Game two of the series. Let's win this one and let's take Clegane. Oh my god, that would be that would be so dope. Alright. So we're just going for we're just going for and uses them properly, <laughs> too much, apparently. Very Swing and a miss from Gemini Man. All right, buddy, let's let's get on base. Field here today. They come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive. Yeah, four and zero. Oh. We're yeah, starting off clean up very hot. Trend right now. They're gonna have to find a way. That is a gapper. Like I'm gonna go for two. Yep, I'm gonna put him in a scoring position. He's gonna strike early. <laughs> Gemini Man turns singles into doubles. He turns poo into gold. All right, Delita, let's go. 0 for 5 last game. Stepping in now, Dell. As he'll take oh. a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Looking to get something to the right side. Oh, Delita. Delita, Delita, Delita. You know, I think it's about time you stop turning blades of grass into flutes and you start hitting some baseballs. No one out with a runner at second. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's going for two. He's going to get thrown out at second. Oh! He'll get in there with an RBI double. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead and they've got one here 
Uh, Delighter almost almost killed that man. So he seems like he's hearing us through the through the waves. Okay. Let's just let's just put the nails in the coffin right now. Let's put the nails in the coffin right now. Let's get a two-run home run. Oh. Okay. All right. So we move the runner to third. Um, which means with one out and a runner on third, we're in a sack fly situation, right? So if we put it deep enough in the outfield, um, <laughs> if we put it deep enough in the outfield, Delida can tag up, and we can get two runs in the first inning, which would be awesome. Inside, all right. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Okay, Hagrid, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Deep in the outfield. Get that run in. Uh, you're not going to go to catch it. And that's out of play. Okay. But that's the kind of contact we need. Something high and far. Doesn't matter if it's if it's a pop out. Wait, <sighs> that was a late swing. Okay, come on, Hagrid. Just because a guy doesn't like a pitch, or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike, and they call it a ball. That's a okay. All right, two and two. This is kind of an action pitch. Two and two is like an action count. Outside. Okay. All right. Come on, Hagrid. I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Oh. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that will at least bring the double play. That was strike three, but I will take it. And now Garrow's up. As we've talked about, he's evil, so he's powerful against righties. He's got runners at the corners here with only one guy. He's chomping at the bit. He wants that home run. He wants to hit it over the wall. Lock down Clegane. Yeah, we really, we really need this now. We need to score some runs. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And there's a yeah, these are these well crucial situations. You gotta capitalize. You gotta capitalize when you have opportunities like this. Oh. Okay. So that sucks. But we still have a chance. And we got Noel. Uh oh. Uh. Sorry, my game might have just froze. Oh no. We can give it two more seconds. I'm really sorry. I'm very sorry. I think my game just froze. Not the internet, not the like connection or anything, but I think the actual game just froze. So it should have auto saved the previous game. But I am going to I'm gonna quit out of this one and just restart it. Oh. I'm really sorry. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, no, I know. I know it's okay. It's more it's more just that like it was a good start to the game too. In addition to being a waste of everyone's good time. It was a good start to the game. But hopefully, you know, yeah, the the first game it should auto save, even though I didn't like go in and save it. Um so we'll just start the game back up and again don't have that sweet leadoff double where Delight is kind of rocking up the middle single, but Better to happen that point in the game than later. It's pretty rare that that, that that happens, so. Strangely enough, I feel like it's happened before with Noel. <laughs> like, I feel like I've had the game freeze on Noel before. <laughs> so now you see behind the hood a little bit, logging back into the game. Okay, and yep, so... Oh, and Armored Armadillo, in this version of the multiverse, does not get hurt. So, riddle me that. Alright, so, 
just getting back in, doing the exact same kinds of things we did before. Hope you like some smooth jazz, one of my free copyright songs, which I'll I'll definitely credit in the stream once this goes live. <laughs> All right, Charizard, and the only stuff we did was we switched that for Langtree. Oh, not Patrick Star, Langtree. All right. I know, the Weather Channel. It's going to be a high of 65. Coming up on Saturday, the chance of drizzle. But this song actually picks up, and then it's like very, very crazy. Let's see if we hear it. Uh, you, you just missed it. It then goes like, and it goes like nuts. Afternoon baseball here on the yeah, show. Big Mike, also, um, also cousin Kev. Stepping in, that music. Oh no. We are ready for some okay. Oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm going to. change the this is a this is a stupid thing um, this is a stupid thing I'm sorry nor if this was if there were like a lot more people watching I wouldn't be doing this but you'll see um, every game every game that I start um, the way this game works and I don't know why they do it this way but the any weather other than overcast, sometimes there are like very, very bad shadows that make like whenever you're playing in this level difficulty, like some of the pitches are like almost invisible if there's like shadows on the field. So I always do, I always set the weather to overcast um, to get rid of that. So then every game is like consistent at least. Um, if you do like, yeah, like, the full sun or partly cloudy or anything like that it like can be really it can be bad like just not not fun to actually play so this will just take another 10 seconds to get back oh but solid snake pulled his calf because we did this And Frankie Montez, some random real person. Okay. Okay, so overcast. There we go. All right. <coughs> okay. As a reminder, playing for Sander Clegane. I'm just kind of hoping the gods of the gods of the universe weren't like, you don't deserve Clegane. We're gonna freeze your game because you were starting off so hot. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here. Yeah, Clegane. Clegane is one of the best players in the, in the game. This is like an incredible opportunity this early on. Him, Danny? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher. All right. Before. Well, not this starting as hot as the last time. First start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots of... Okay, Delight, let's go, mind. buddy. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. Ball Check swing. Ball one. Checked time. it. Ball one. Fellas, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field this afternoon. They come in in a real funk to start oh. the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive Ooh. first win. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now. Okay, Delina, here we go, buddy. For it to start Hi. The All right. They can't go out High and like tight. Last game and allow to the 2-1 count. And not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change. If this team That's a base hit. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Right oh, my God. lay out to make a spec. <laughs> wow. Boy, that would not a good start, everyone. Not a good start. It looks like the Westeros watch froze the game so they could come back with a vengeance. 
Yeah, oh god is right. Oh god is right. The game is the game is not happy with us right now. That's gonna be foul. That's foul. All right. All right. Let's go zero. <sighs> okay, one and two. It's all right. It's all right. We got a okay starter this game. Charizard is Charizard's good. Charizard is good. And this this pitcher that we're up against, he's got three pitches: sinker, curveball, fastball. Even if we don't hit him this inning, it's okay. Even if we don't hit him this inning, it's okay. All right, here we go. All right, Charizard. Let's set the tone of the game. So Charizard got a changeup, a slider, a two seam, and a sinker. So we'll try to work a lot of two seam fastballs. Mostly, hopefully, like low and away. That's a hard hit ball, but he's gonna get there. Oof. That's another one. That's a home run in a lot of stadiums. That was probably that's probably 380 into that part of a of a baseball field. That's that's a home run in a lot of stadiums. So if I remember, I think Charizard, Charizard has like decent stuff and really good stamina, but he doesn't have a lot of velocity, which against a team like this, like they are, like I said before, they are really freaking good at hitting. So yeah, I mean, I think last game might have given you an unrealistic expectation of how good this team can be at hitting. Because John Boy is a very, very good pitcher. Um, and even though Jamie Lannister had that three-run shot early in the game, you know, there wasn't all that much else. Okay. So I do find the computer seems to kind of know almost. The computer seems to know when I create all these meta situations, like who it's against. So I, sentient machines, you know. But Corvain just grounded out to third, so maybe I'm just superstitious. That's going to drop, because the outfield's going to play deep. Yep. Okay. Good way to start. Good way to start the second inning. Hagrid's on first. We got our power boy, Garrow, up against a right-handed pitcher. This is what we want. Swing and a miss. All right, Hagrid taking a generous lead on first. That's a pitch out. Okay. Arrow inside. All right, two and one. This is the count. This is the home run hitting count. They usually come in. Oh. Oh. That was a miss. That was a miss. It's frustrating, too, when the contact was good. So that means they timed it well. Um, and it was a sinker high in the zone like that. That should have been a, that should have been a home run. I feel like that should have been crushed. You set and the pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Yeah, it's hard. You know, sometimes, sometimes the game just doesn't doesn't give it to you. You know. Oof. All right, Noel, let's go, buddy. Let's get a run. Let's get that. Let's get that early game. Early game offense back. Oof. So as a reminder, if I win, I get Clegane. If I lose, I lose Iron Man. Good oh. to that sinker as he gets okay. him to swing through it for round number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. A is for the apple that he gave to me, but I found a worm inside. B is for the boy that I thought he was when he first said hi. See, see what he did to me. Did it to poor old B. <laughs> oh, one pitch on its way. Oh. And he fouls this one off. I think for every player, for every Okay. Oh and two. Right the but this is this is, this is how she likes she likes to come back. Question. Want the fans to be safe. Fastball misses in the dirt okay. as he tried to get him to chase the low. Low fastball, one and two. 
I'm guessing another ball here. That was a strike. Swung at it. Staying alive. If I get one more ball, I might send Hagrid. I might send Hagrid. It's only 70 speed, though. He's good. He got 93 stealing, but 70 speed is a little bit nerve wracking. Oh, Langtree. Ah, uh, good contact. Leave it right at him. Okay. All right, now we just got to answer back, hold him here. And he's been one of the league's big stories in April, having come out of the gates extremely hot at the plate. Oh, shit. Jamie Lancer, that's going to be at least a double, maybe a triple. And that is off the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Yeah, and you can see he was looking for a And he jumps all over it. Yeah, Jamie Lannister, guys. He, he's he's serious. He's not a... That's going to be a run. Okay. All right, guys. We're down. They're not going to give us Sander Clegane easily. And I also find that if you get one chance at, at like a player like this, there's almost no way we're going to get another chance. This team's been at a pretty bad at, at Sander Clegane, so this is probably it. This is probably the only the only shot we got at him. Uh, just, you know, statistically. Okay, that's a double play, though. One, two. All right. That's good. So going from two on, no out, one run in, to guy on third, albeit, but a double play, that's a, that's a good way. I take that any time. All right, and all okay. One run, one run. Not a big deal. When you start with a leadoff, what was it? A leadoff triple. Getting one run, not bad. We're still in it. We're still in it. All right, maybe an error. Maybe an error. Maybe an error. Okay. All right, Iron Man. Iron Man, good home run hitter against right-handed pitching. Kind of goes against a little bit the good guy against righties thing, but it's not like for everyone, but just a general, general rule of thumb. Okay. 0-2, that was good timing, just tying away. Okay, we need some base runners. We need some base runners. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. The one two. Oh. Fouled off. Okay. All right, all right. Here we go, Iron Man. Let's go, buddy. Outside. All right, two and two. Even the count, two and two. Evening up the count, always good. This two two is an action pitch, though. Didn't go, didn't go, didn't go. <laughs> barely, barely, barely held up there. Oh, run it out, run it out. Ah, okay. All right. Gemini man, let's start us up, buddy. He can hit home runs. He can hit the dingers. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get on base. Get on base. Oh, yes. Hopped over him. Okay. Maybe that's going to be how we start. Maybe that's going to be how we start. So Gemini Man can steal. Look at that. 94 speed, 88 steal. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna be looking at him. So I'm going to kind of maybe dance a little bit off first base right now to get them to maybe do one more pitch out. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that they're going to go to 2-0 right now, that they're going to do another pitch out here. That's going to give Delighta a 2-0 count. They're going to then throw a fastball. Okay, all right, but it's still 2-0, 2-0. This is a good This is a good hitting count. The runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitch. That's not a good pitch. 
All right, two and one is also a good hitting count. A lot of times they'll throw strikes here. And it's two balls and two strikes. Got frozen. Oh, I got frozen. Okay, I'm gonna send them here. Pretty much middle, middle, center cut, tough pitch to take. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside. Got him. Oh. We need to get it. This is an important inning. We need to get out of this inning. Oh. We need to get out of this inning without a lot of runs or without a lot of hits. <sighs> yeah, man. That game freezing, you know? Messes with you. Everything was rolling. We had Clegane in our grass, you know? Okay, that's that's an out. I'm going to get there. Ooh, crash through the wall. You okay? You can get hurt like that. Players can get hurt crashing the walls. Oof, okay. Okay. We had a more months up. All right, two strikes on Leanna. Let's go low and away change up. Curtis. Oh, double play pitch. Let's go. Double play, double play, double play. Yeah, got him. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's start it up. Let's start it up, Delita. That might drop. That might drop. Oh. Okay. We still got zero and accurate up though. So coming to Both very, very good. You can tie the game with one swing of the bat. And it's fouled away. I'm always tempted, not always, but often tempted to drag Bump with zero because it's so fast. But it's just it's like a wasted wasted opportunity, but one out, nobody on. Yeah, because he can hit home runs every time. But at the same time, you know, what we really need right now is a base runner. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. Okay. Two and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. Two and two count to zero. Action pitch here. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curve. Safe, he didn't go. He did not go. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Let's get him on base, however we need to. Maybe a walk here. Oh, just early, just early. Nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's just early there. Three two counts are usually a tough shot as a hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner. That was a good home run pitch right there. That was a hanging curveball. Oh, that was a good home run pitch. Wraps up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Number zero. Inside. All right. Come on, Hagrid. Let's go, buddy. Sixty is the batter now as he looks at a ball one and zero. Down the third Ooh, base line. Close, close. Screamer down the line, but foul ball. Now the pitch. Oh, that was another hanging curve. And I timed that one up. It's just the game guy's not with me right now. Okay. The game's up. Takes the change up for a strike. And he falls Fouls off the slider. We're going to go even further low and away with that slider. Strike three. Yeah, got him. Okay. One down there. Charizard's first strike out of the game. All right, Jamie Lannister. I'm going to be a little bit picky around him this time. It's going to be foul. All right, so two strikes on him. I'm going to go high heat, and then I'm going to go low and in, down and in slider if this doesn't get him. So I'm going to go slider, kind of back, what we call a back foot slider. Yeah. Oof. All right, two strikeouts for Charizard here. We can get out of this inning. We can keep, we've got to reverse the momentum here. We've been holding them. 
pretty well. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for you a know, ball. We, we got out of that inning, that first inning, with only one run. Um, they had two guys on with no outs. And we only gave up that one run. Okay, yeah. All right, momentum. Let's go. We've been holding on. Got Garrow up. Sliding into the box. Number six. Oh for one for him here in this one. Inside. I'm gonna be patient this inning. I'm gonna try to be patient this inning because I really want base runners here. Really want base runners. I say that and then I swing at a fastball at my eyes. Tough, tough, tough. <laughs> okay. Two and one. Two and one to Garo. Ooh. Yeah, that was good patience, because that was kind of a strike that I took, but... Okay, all right. Runner on. He is fast. I'm not going to try to steal with him, though. I'm going to leave him there. We're going to try to move him. Manufacture a run here. Okay. Manufacture that run. Let's go, Noel. Let's move him over. Come on, baby. Here we go. Oh, didn't go. Didn't go. Oh, he did. Oh, that was a bad swing. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oof. Good take. Good take. All right. One and two count here. From the stretch. Said to him, yes, okay, that's huge, that's huge, because now he's in scoring position, and there are no outs, so I have three chances to get a base hit, and hopefully we can score him. Hi, okay. Yeah, three chances to get a base hit here. Langtree, Langtree's coming up. This is a crucial moment. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. That's gonna be right at him. Shit. Oh, oh that's devastating. Oh, okay. So this is a decision point. So do we keep Langtree in? Or do we keep Langtree in or do we sub her out? So she's just not that good. I could put in Ness, I guess. Yeah, but no, we don't really have a great we don't really have a great backup, actually, so she's staying. <laughs> I thought we had a better pinch hitter that we might be able to put in. But sometimes I like to leave players in just to, you know, pretend like it's good for their morale, you know? I think it's good for her morale. Rolled slowly to first. Mm. Okay, so if that had been last out, if Noel had done that, I would have been okay, right? Because then we would have had a runner on third with one out, we would have been in a sack fly situation. But now, this isn't that much better than having somebody on second. Having somebody on third doesn't really help that much. The one thing is if they have a wild pitch, right, we can score. Whereas if he's on second, he would only make it to third. And I could go for a drag bunt if I was feeling real crazy. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. But Two outs here with we'll see. Third. We'll see. Come on, Moana. That's a strike. Hey, All right. This one in there. I was worried I was going to pop that one up. Hey, you get two, oh, your eyes light up, but you're sitting in one spot. <sighs> Come on, Moana. Here we go, kid. Get it right there. He still finds himself in a oh, right connected, but just a little early. All right, here's a crucial pitch. I feel like this is the game, guys. This is the game here. Oh, and I take a strike. Oh, man. Okay. All right, that's a tough, that's a tough inning. That's a tough inning. All right, so mentally, mentally here. You know, it's getting late, both in real life and in the multiverse. And those ones are painful. Those ones are painful. 
Oh, is it Clegane? No, Hodor, okay. Hodor's up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, not gonna get there. Okay. Let's just let it be a single, single. Okay. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna keep the ball low here. We're gonna go for the double play. So keeping the ball low. Recognize it. We try to do like diving stuff, so a lot of sinkers and low fastballs here. Because we're playing for that double play ball. So hopefully he hits a rocket to second base. Now that I got two strikes, though, I'm going to go for that back foot slider again. It's a good strikeout pitch. That's... Oh, come on. Get there, buddy. Get there, buddy. Oh! <laughs> That could have been real bad. If that's anybody other than Gemini Man with his like 98 speed or whatever, that's that's to the wall. That's game changing right there. Okay, 0 and 2. We're gonna go low and away slider. That was Gemini Man that made that play in center field. Gemini Man is lightning quick. Lightning quick. Oh, here we go. We worked out of the inning. Okay. Yeah, that was a scary moment right there because I think that was like one or two frames away from being like almost an inside the park home run. That thing would have gone deep. Okay, so we're going to keep trying this patience. We're going to keep trying to be patient because we want to get base runners. So I really only want to swing at something if it was a strike. I don't want to chase. No, I really don't want to chase here. Held up. <laughs> yeah, don't want to chase. Boom, okay. Alright, Iron Man, let's go work it, work it. And then we're going to go to top of the order from here. Let's go, let's go. Ah. Up and away, up and away. Okay. This feels important. This pitch feels important. Okay, alright. Wasted it, wasted it. Let's go, let's go. Wasted it, wasted it. Foul balls are fine, foul balls are fine. Inside, oh! Okay, alright, alright. Come on, Gemini man. Okay, he's out of juice, he's out of energy. That's a base hit. Oh my god. Arya Stark. Arya fighting desperately to keep her buddy at third. Guys, are we going to get shut out? Are we going to lose Iron Man? Not get Clegane? Get shut out? It's feeling like it. It's feeling like it right now. Ugh. Delida! Okay, starting us off. I'd rather have that with no outs, right? But it's something. It's something. All right. Here comes Varus, the reliever. He's a left-handed pitcher. I think he's got forcing slurves, knuckle curve, and changeup. He's got some jump. All right. Yeah, it's it's getting late. It's getting late in this game. There's only you know seven, eight, nine outside. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Seven, eight, nine after this, so we are we're getting into dangerous territory here. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer. Okay. Two and one. This is a good pitch. Remember, Zero's got good power against lefties, too. He can crank him. He can crank him. Now the two -one pitch doesn't hit the target. All right, low and away. Low and away. Hagrid's on, well, Hagrid's on deck. Hagrid's also got great power against lefties. He doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Oh, okay. All right, 3-2. Three, two. Three, two, two outs. Two Runner's out, going. Runners. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. All right, foul ball. Foul ball's all right. Foul ball's all right. We really need something here. Oh, 
fouled away. <sighs> These are the parts of the games that just the, the tension just keeps just stays, you know. Gotta get that lead. Oh, oh zero! Oh, man. <laughs> Way out of here. Drama is promised, everyone. Drama is promised. Drama has been delivered. We go up two to one. The bats are dead the whole freaking game. Zero just clocks one over the wall. Yeah, the manager was looking for that lefty lefty advantage. There you go, guys. Someone there you go. To tell the guy in the box that he was yeah, so if you remember from that draft video, I was talking about him. If you make a mistake, yeah, vengeance for Green Dude pain. is right. I was talking about him. From. He is the difference maker. He is he is going to make the difference in so many of these games. It's going to be does zero come through. So now to the plate number 60. See, because, like, you know, Hagrid's great, but it's just it's just different. It's just different. It's different. He is... The combo of him and Clegane, if we get Clegane this game... Clegane is the same, Clegane is the same kind of difference maker. Okay, so now that the tenor of this game just changed a little bit, so I don't really want to make mistakes anymore. So I'm going to warm up. I'm going to start warming up relievers right now so I'm gonna warm up Captain Falcon um, and I guess sh I guess Sheik in case there is a really good matchup for lefty because um, you know even though Charizard has pretty good stamina he's got a lot left in the tank you know so in comparison to the last game where John Boy went you know the whole time almost um, I don't I don't want to make mistakes here Gemini man again. Gemini man again. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there. Oh my gosh. What a center fielder. Number 10 is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. Now here's the pit. Leanna Mormont. Up again. It's 1 and 1. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the second. Okay. Oh no. And he's unable to haul it in. Oh, oh. Get him out a second. Out a second. Out a second. Got him. No! Oh my god. So problems out there in right field is this is going to wind up going as an E9. Standing in now. Dog. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. And he'll take this one to the back to the out. Okay. Two outs. Runner moves to third, but again, it's okay. I mean, even if they tie it here, it's not the end of the world. It would be great to get out of this inning. Oh! That's huge. That's huge. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Alright. So they're probably going to bring a lefty in because Garrow's coming up. Oh, they already had a lefty. Okay, I'm going to do that drag button thing again like I did last time, if you remember. With Garrow up against the lefty. Yeah, I'm going to give him one more chance at a drag button because he's... Yeah. I'm going to take a pitch, actually, or, or swing if it's a, a really good strike, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, it's alright. Garrow against lefties is just not a great, not a great matchup. See, so if that had been a righty, that would have been a home run with Garrow every time. But, just not good against lefties. Okay, Noel. So we need some, we need some insurance runs here. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Skied in the air to straight away nope, left. Not gonna do it. Fly out to left. Number 22 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Okay. All right, it's getting close. It's getting close. Langtree is up. You know what? If they throw a ball here, I'm gonna sub Frodo in for Langtree. I think. First delivery to him on the way. That's a strike. Ooh. Okay. Said if I got a ball, yeah, I'm gonna put Frodo in. Frodo is better against lefties. Now the pitcher's duel, two to one our score. Frodo's like a 90 contact hitter against against lefties. We'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. So let's see if we can get another rally going. If you remember last inning, right? It was two outs. We got um, Delita on in front of zero. 
and then zero rip that two run shot. So Moana is up next, and Moana has exceptional power against lefties. So I'm gonna actually take I'm gonna take a strike here. Yeah. Okay. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. So Frodo's up. Frodo's also a decent base dealer too, but I'm gonna give Moana a chance for another two run shot, make us all feel a lot better about this game. Left fielder giving chase. That at so many stadiums is out. That felt so good. That was probably four hundred feet almost down the line and then almost every stadium 400 feet down the line is a home run but okay so now we're in a situation where any any mistake by charizard anybody gets on any kind of hard contact anything like that i'm gonna i'm gonna pull him um, but if he can squeak through this inning I mean, he's, this is a great start for him. It's just it hasn't felt maybe quite as good because we haven't had a, a, a lead this whole time. But this has been a really great start. Like he shut them down since that um, since that first inning. I mean, with really great plays in the outfield by Gemini Man. Yeah. So this is a decision point. All right. So they got a runner on. I'm gonna look at matchups here real quick. So, oh, right-handed pitching. Yeah, I am going to put... No. Oh, man. I don't know. All right, I'm going to leave Charizard in. I'm going to go for the double play here. Into the box now. Number 80. As he will take strike one on the fastball. Charizard's got sinking stuff. Oh, he's going. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, he just made it. Oh, my God. Okay. Shit. Okay. All right. So, drop third strike is kind of a weirder rule in baseball, right? But if you drop the third strike, you have to throw them out at first. So, that allows a runner to advance right there. So, they got a runner on third, but there's two outs. I'm leaving Charizard in. See if he can do it. If we can get through this inning, our odds are a lot better. Okay, two strikes. See if you can guess the pitch. I'm going to go for that back foot slider here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoestring catch by Garo. Let's go. Okay. All right, Iron Man is up. Iron Man is really bad against lefties. I can't remember, though, if I have anyone who I can... Ness. Yep, so this is the same situation we were in last game. I'm going to bring Ness in because we're fighting a lefty here. This is a better matchup. Okay. All right, so we are definitely... You know what? I'm going to go to the bullpen real quick. I'm going to sit Sheik. And I'm going to warm up. It looks like um, a righty actually would be better here. So I'm going to warm up Birdo for maybe next inning with the thought that Nymeria could close or Birdo could kind of stay in and close if need be. I really want I really want a run here. Oh. You know, ideally two, right? But one run here, even. Just one run makes a huge difference. That's so tough to lay off of. Ooh, almost hit him. Okay, just to put it in perspective for everyone, there's probably, as long as it doesn't go into extras, there's probably a little less than 10 minutes left in the game. Generally, when you're at this point, in like the top of the ace. Um, so, fingers crossed, guys, we get Clegane. Outside, all right. Tries to get him to reach for it, but Three and two. Three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit. Come on, Ness. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Right if I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's gonna beat me. Pulled toward right side. That was well hit. Um, fielder on the run. That was. <laughs> that was well hit. Um, again, this is a deep stadium. That was probably about 400. Maybe a couple of ballparks where that's out. But that felt really good off the bat. 
And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Okay, fastball outside to, to, to Gemini Man. Gemini Man has had a really glowing defensive game. Okay, ball two. Ball two. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, run it out, run it out. Rush the throw, rush the throw. Safe. Ooh. Oof. Okay. All right. The light is up. Got great power against lefties. Ah, oh, swing at a high and away fastball. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Oh, another strike. Taking strike two. Under the hands, it's two. All right, got to protect now. In the air, out toward right field. Decent contact, but. Definitely not good enough. Okay. Number 70. The game is stays tense. The game stays tense. Ness. All right. Ness I think I'm gonna bring in Birdo. Yep. Yep. All right. Good start for Charizard. Here comes Birdo. Birdo's got a fastball, a curveball, and a knuckler. So we're gonna throw. Hopefully, just pretty much all heaters, and then once we get to two strikes, ideally, then mix in a breaking pitch to get the strikeout. Knuckleballs in this game are scary. Okay, so way ahead of that fastball, so let's put a low and away knuckleball strike three. Ooh. All right, let's do low and away curveball strike three. Nope. Okay. I'm going to do one more low and away curveball, and then I'm going to come back inside with a fastball. Sorry. Fruits and vegetables. Okay. Okay. Not a great start for Birdo. Not a great start for Birdo. Number 43 is at the plate as he looks at okay. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, one two strikes to, to Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister is up. Let's do a low and in curveball. Oh, they're sending him. Did I get him? Cannon. Oh! That was great. Thank you for swinging at that, Tyrion. They are chasing that curveball. Birdo's curveball is on right now. I'm going to throw more curveballs, I guess. Yeah, everybody's chasing. Oh, throw him out of third. Throw him out of third. What? Oh. Oh my gosh, Birdo is going to strike out. How did they... Oh. Okay. So just everyone absorb the drama for a moment, right? Think of where we are in this game. Think of who we're, the stakes are. Sandra Clegane is out. Oh. Okay. I'm going to throw some curveballs here. It's a little bit risky. Oh, gosh. Okay. Thanks, Hagrid. Thanks. All right, we need a strike here. Okay. I'm going to throw a curveball, low and away. Hopefully, I can paint the zone. Oh, nope. Okay. What is the Jamie Lannister matchup against? Ah, oh, it's righties. Okay. Number 44, and their runners at the corners now. And they'll start in with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. One and all. There are a couple of points in every. Oh game boy, the this is the losing. this is the game here, guys. This is the game right here. Time to make some great pitches. Two and one. Okay. Hey, this Birdo's curve has been here. working. My man at the plate is not trying. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this All right, three and one, three and one count. 
And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Okay. Well, it's obvious. <sighs> absolutely no part of the three or four. Aria start. But he's got to focus here because base is loaded. She's up to protect her guy. She's up to keep Sanders McGain on her team. She takes a high curve ball for strike one. Let's go running fastball down and in. Okay, and I'm going to get Nymeria. I'm going to get Nymeria up. This is kind of psychological warfare against Arya. Nymeria is going to get, you know, I took her dire wolf. <laughs> All right, low and away curve. Oh my god. Oh my god, did we get out? <laughs> Putting Nymeria in the pen. That's what did it. It was that move. Okay. All right. So we got Nymeria warming up to come in and close. Let's get one run. Let's get one run. And who's up, guys? It's our boy. This is the moment. Two two home runs in the game. Two home runs in the game. Let's get one more. Knock one out of the park. Give us that two-run lead. All right, one and two count. But we got zero up, guys. Let's go. Oh, it's strike three. Oh, that had a little bit, that fastball had a little bit of left to right movement. So that started outside and it, it just kind of snuck in at the end there. All right, inside to Hagrid. All right, we're not out of the woods yet, right? We got, we got to get three outs. So I really want to run here. I was kind of taken for a strike there anyway. So, all right, let's go. A little bit early, a little bit late. Okay. Here we go, Hagrid. Outside. All right. 2-2 two, two to Hagrid. Up and away. All right, Hagrid is a good base runner. I know it's like a little counterintuitive, but he's a good base runner. That's a ball. Okay. All right, that's good. We got Garo up. Not the guy you want to be fighting as a righty with a base runner on. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. That felt good. Okay. But it was early. Oh. <laughs> okay. Feeling a little tense. Feeling a little tense. Ooh, that almost hit him. Okay. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Oh. If that had been five feet to the right or the left, that would have been that would have been great. But all right, no fielding is clutch. No fielding is a clutch hitter. Lifted the other way but that's not going to do it. Okay. All right. Here we go. So now we're going to look at the lineup. We're going to look at, so Drogo, Hodor, and Ghost. We're going to see what the matchup is. And we're all going to pray. All right. It's looking like lefties. So both Drogo and, H and Hodor are worse against lefties. Then we got Ghost, who's a little bit better against lefties, but we're putting in Nymeria. I think it's poetic too, right? Number 11 is ready and he'll take the ball from the man. Nymeria is the one that's going to get us Clegane if we're going to get him. So let's see if we can do it. All right. To him on the way. Low fastball. I'm going to go up and in with a fastball. Oh, close. Okay. I'm going to go up and in again with the fastball here. Okay. Not a great start. I'm going to go try to get, get me over fastball here. Okay. He's behind. So let's do a cut fastball. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Gemini man. Out number one. Okay. We got one. Two more. Two more. 
eight, number 80. As he'll go after oh my gosh. Okay, that's just a single though. No, get up, Delight. Get up. <laughs> what are you doing out there, buddy? Oh no. Oh no. That's the event they needed. Base is empty, one out, down one in the night. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, to get on base. Oh, they send it him? Okay. Nope. Oh boy. Comes in quickly now, so that time run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. Hey, D bro, looks like they might. <laughs> okay. We need a double play. Maybe now they can get something started. Yeah, you can tell the third base coach was going to be aggressive right there, right? A nice read by both him and the base runner to take that. We need a double play here. All right. I'm going to go high and tight fastball. We'll see what he can do with the time run at second, the potential winning run at first. Okay. Ness with the PK flash connecting right there. All right, guys. Tyrion Lannister's up. The game on the line. And he hits a three run walk off home run. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. Oh. oh my god. Okay. So that's how it works. <laughs> yep. It's not always good. The outcome is not always good. I think it sometimes feels like, oh yeah, we're going to pull it out. We're always going to get the guys we want. We're not going to lose anyone. But nope, that's not how it works. So, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I'm going to go quickly trade Iron Man for... Yeah, so Iron Man, I'll, I'll show you right now quick. I mean, you don't have to stay on, but yeah, Iron Man is going to go to the Westeros team. So they are going to get Iron Man, and I just lose him. So I'm going to take a... like a, I'll, I'll do a random trade for like a... Um, I'll do a random trade for some kind of like useless player. Uh, but I am going to just lose Iron Man right now to the Westeros watch for, yeah, it'll just be like this guy, Travis. Okay. So we no longer have Iron Man on our team. So our third baseman are Ness and Patrick Starr. And the Westeros watch are stronger. Let's listen to this sad music and feel bad about ourselves. Um, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, Nora, for being here too. Especially. Um, yeah, this was fun. I'm going to try to do it again. Hopefully... I'll have a stream set up a little bit better next time. Might have a webcam, not just be doing it off this stupid laptop. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much and catch you in the next one.